Alright, it's time to change some brakes. Alright, first thing we need to do is get these lug nuts off. That thing spun these off like they were nothing, so it seems to be good. I used it on the other front tire, I did the front tire already. Okay, so most of you know on most calipers, you just take this bolt loose. Well, pin, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Ram decided to come up with the idea they're going to throw this extra nut in here. So you actually have to hold on to this nut while you spin this bolt out. So that's what I'm going to do next. We'll get this out and we'll use the uh, Ryobi 3 8 ratchet wrench for that. Okay, got her on there. Give her a little whop just to get it loosened up. got this little bitty bolt and that's all captured inside there I don't know why they did that that worked great that worked really good all right, we'll get the lower one. So I haven't broke this one loose yet so I just want to show you guys with any ratchet wrench I don't think I've ever owned one even my air powered one that'll just break the bolt loose you usually got to give it a little smack or a little twist or something so I'm just gonna break that you heard it break loose there we go All right, thanks to the Ryobi 3H wrench, uh, got these old pads off. Okay, the uh, old clips are put back on the new pads, got the new pads set in there. So they are ready for the caliper to go back on, but first I gotta squeeze that caliper in. Okay, so there's 20 different ways to push that caliper back in so you can get it over the new pads since they're thicker. Um, and every way I would try would be the wrong way. So I'm just gonna tell you the way that I do it. And what I do is I take the brake pad, the old brake pad, and I flip it over. And I just set it in between the pistons. And then I put my C-clamp on there like so. I just make quick little uh, about quarter turns. Leave it set for a second. You can feel the pressure come off of it. Um, this is the way I do it. Just showing you how I do it, not telling you how to do it. Okay, once you get your caliper all the way in, uh, your back ear brake pad won't quite go up against that, but as soon as it hits them dust seals, you're good to go. You should go ahead and slide over the pads. If it won't go over the pads, you can always put it back on and go a little bit more. It just sets right over the top. And what we need to do is get it up where it needs to be and push that in. That side popped in. Then we'll push this bottom one in just a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with one hand or not. Nope, I could not do it with one hand. But anyway, the caliper's back on, same place. So now we'll just kind of get our bolts started by hand. Don't ever start your bolts with a power tool or an air tool. Just start them by hand, get a couple threads going, and then get your wrench on there or your ratchet or your whatever you're using, but do not start them with the power tool. That is not a good idea. All right, now we'll tighten those down as tight as I can get them before I have to hold on to them with the wrench again. Once again, my Ryobi, three eighths. Now you hear that and then it stops and then you let off the trigger again. Hit the trigger once more and it kind of ratchets them down and they're tight. Can't tighten them any tighter by hand, so that's good enough. So again, it'll stop, let off the trigger, hit it again. And as you can see, I can't even get another turn on it. So it gets it nice and tight. I love this thing. This is a cool little uh, ratchet wrench. Here's another cool feature. Might as well show you while I'm sitting here. The head turns. Pull up on that, and the head will spin around. That way, if you're in a tighter spot and you ain't got room for the battery down here, you can get into tighter areas. Okay, that's it. That's the brakes. That's, I mean, it's really that easy. I know a lot of people take them in, get them done. It's not worth it. 
Um, I've done all four now. I've done all four tires, and I think it's taken me maybe 50 minutes. Um, time I get this tire on, get my mess packed up, we'll probably be in an hour. Did I tell you guys that Ryobi also sent me this half inch, 18 volt, half inch impact driver? Um, this thing works great. Man, you know, the worst part about changing tires or taking tires off is the lug nuts. I don't know. For me, it is anyway. With this, it makes it so much easier. So much easier. I mean, does it get any easier than that? I've got a half inch impact for my, um, or an air impact. But then I gotta drag out the compressor and I gotta drag out the hose and yeah. Out here, living out in the desert, off grid. Man, this is the way to go. Just can't thank Ryobi enough for sending this stuff. I mean, it's just been invaluable. All right, we're gonna go around and hit them all one more time. There we go. All right. Once again, I got to thank Ryobi for sending me this 3 8 ratchet. And I got to thank him for sending this half-inch impact driver. Um, these two tools to do a brake job, amazing. Made it so much easier. So much easier.